Joining me now from Reston, Virginia, from the Media Research Center, director of MRC-TV, Eric Shiner. Uh, Eric, I, I firmly believe in my heart uh, that Donald Trump let this woman inside the White House to be part of his team because he has a soft spot in his heart. He, he wanted to do something good, and of course now it looks like it's backfiring on him. But the question I have is, how many other Omarosas are there peddling around inside the White House right now that we don't know about that could do damage to the president now or, or down the road? Because this event certainly has captured the attention of the 45th president. It has. He's tweeted about this uh, eight times, I think, since Monday. So it's obviously on his mind. But let's face it, leaks of information coming out from this administration has been a problem that President Trump has been fighting uh, since he came into office. Now, in this case, you know, he's tweeted out that, you know, she's a lowlife, she's a dog, and now some are saying, well, he's saying that because he's racist, because she's alleged that there's this tape of him saying the N-word on The Apprentice that nobody can produce and that Trump says simply doesn't exist. Um, but, you know, the, he has called other people that have irritated him a dog over time. He called Ted Cruz a lying dog during the campaign when he was arguing with him. He's called Ariana Huffington a, a dog before. So I don't think it's a racist, uh, you can take that in a racist way as much as this is someone that's obviously irritated the president. And again, leaks coming out of this administration has, has got to be an issue that truly frustrates him at this point. It's been ongoing. Which is why I question uh, some of the people allowed inside the gates of the White House. It's truly alarming. In a national security sense, it's alarming. Uh, the congressman from Minnesota, I will call him Keith X, uh, apparently has uh, more problems, more questions, more allegations that go beyond his association, his well-known association with the bigot Louis Farrakhan. These are other new allegations. And these allegations come out right before the primary uh, for the attorney general's office in uh, Minnesota, and that's what he's running for right now. And a former, an ex-girlfriend, Karen Monahan, and her son have put out social media claims that uh, Ellison has abused her and that they have a video that proves this. But it, they too, uh, much like Omarosa and uh, the tape of Trump saying the N-word, this video cannot be produced. Now, she says she does have it on a flash drive, um, but she doesn't want to release it because it's embarrassing and humiliating. Um, but these allegations coming out right before the primary election, certainly damaging. Now, uh, Representative Ellison, for his part, Keith Ellison says that the reason uh, the video doesn't exist is because these incidents never happened. But it wasn't that long ago in 2006 that a, uh, another woman that he had a relationship uh, claimed that there was verbal abuse uh, in that relationship. So, you know, this is the second time this type of issue has come forth again these things are always questionable when they come out right before an election. Well, it's clear that uh, Ellison embraces socialist principles, and unfortunately, more and more for this republic, unfortunately, I guess good for the Republicans, uh, more and more Democrats are rejecting capitalism and moving and embracing toward socialism. For the first time ever since Gallup started doing this poll uh, for about over a decade now, yes, Democrats that uh, have a positive view, they're positive on socialism, or outnumber those that have a positive view on capitalism. Now, according to Gallup, it, it's 57% of Democrats say they have a positive view on, ca uh, on uh, sorry, Amazing. on socialism. Amazing. Uh, now, they're saying that it's, according to Gallup, it's really the younger people, a lot of younger people. It's about 50-50 right now, uh, Americans 29 and under. But they're saying what's really happened and that they've seen the biggest change in is that Democrats kind of always like socialism, but right now they're really negative on capitalism. And that's where they're seeing the biggest change in giving the, uh, the, the much greater support over, to, uh, I believe, about 10% more Democrats have a favorable opinion on socialism than capitalism right now. They're probably also more unafraid to uh, admit that they're embracing uh, socialism over capitalism. The modern Democrat Party, without a doubt, has devolved into the Socialist Party of America. Eric, thanks.